So, about two nights ago, I posted an update on the NV family WhatsApp that someone has been brought down in the city of Benin in an area called Adler Road. And the person that was brought down is said to have a bar, a place where people go to drink and relax. When this update came, it was said that the killing was as a result of a new confraternity clash in the city of Benin between black ass and mafite. Although people were saying that the person that was brought down is innocent, others said he is a member of a confraternity. And people also said that some confraternity members went to the home of another confraternity member to beat him up. I was able to lay my hands on the real information about what really happened and at this point it is not surprising to me that there is a lot of misinformation about that update that came out. So in this video I am going to be explaining to you guys and telling you the truth about this particular clash between black ass and mafite in the city of Benin. I will explain to you guys what happened. I will explain to you guys where the misinformation is and I will tell you guys the current situation about this particular thing that happened between Black Ass and Mafite. So without wasting any of your time, let's dive straight into the video. So this happened, I think, about three to four days ago when some Mafite members went to meet a carpenter. Now they said that they gave this carpenter work to do for them and when they got there it seemed like the work wasn't ready i really don't know there was an altercation between the mafite members and the person who is a carpenter now the altercation escalated into fighting and the mafite members were refundling the carpenter so while this was going on another young man is said to have been on top of okada passing by so when the young man saw that there was a commotion there the young man came down from the Okada, he approached them and he asked them what is going on. The man that was passing through with Okada is said to be a black ass member. So he approached them and asked them what is happening and the thing really didn't go away. The Mafite members beat him up. They beat him up to the extent that the young man was taken to the hospital. And this person is said to be a member of black ass. So in the evening of it, this young man that you are currently seeing on your screen was brought down around the same area right there in Adbar Road. Now this young man is said to own a bar and in that bar there are some Mafite members that do go to that place to relax and drink. So people were saying that the black ass members went to look for the Mafite members and they brought down this young man and others were saying that the young man is a member of Mafite. Later, the Mafite members had said that this young man is not a Mafite member and has never been a Mafite member. They said that the young man was innocent, that he is not their member. But after a little bit of digging to find out what really happened, it was found out that what killed this young man has nothing to do with confraternity. First of all, it was discovered that the young man is not a member of Mafite. It was also discovered that it is not the black ass members that pulled the heat on the young man that brought the young man down. Now the street started talking what really happened. So according to Wes on the street, this young man seemed to have a problem with his wife or his girlfriend, I really don't know, but it is said to be a passion crime. The street is saying that the girl that was with him, the woman that was with him, they had a problem and the woman asked him to settle him with a shove of 5 million era. I really don't know. The man refused and people are saying that the woman is the person that paid the hitman to go bring the man down. So what happened to the man has nothing to do with confraternity. It has nothing to do with the problem between black ass and mafite. But the reason a lot of people were thinking that this was a confraternity hit is because this happens in the same area where the Mafite members had beaten the black ass member into coma. So a lot of people were thinking that it was the black ass members that went to pull a hit on this young man because they said in his bar sometimes Mafite members do relax there. So the young man is not a confraternity member and he wasn't brought down because of a confraternity issue. They said he was being set up by his former wife or the lady that he was with. I really don't know if they were married. So this is what the street is saying. 
Now, after this happened, people said that the Black Ass Hit Squad went to a house where a Mafia member was living and they beat the Mafia members, used Cutlass to cut his body and left. But at the end of the day, it was also found out that that is a lie. That is not truth at all. What happened with him is that he had worked with an Okada man and he refused to pay the Okada man that he worked with. So the Okada man got angry, went home, came back with squad looking for this Mafia member. So they went to the house of the Mafia member, saw him and they beat him up. According to how it was said, they said they run enter the young man and it has nothing to do with the black ass member now at the end of the day it is said that the problem between the black ass member and the mafia member have been settled so i think maybe the mafia members are going to pay the hospital bill of the young man who is in the hospital because that is how they normally settle confraternity matters when they have a problem and someone is in the hospital which has sustained injury so everything that happened, all the violence that they said happened, it wasn't really confraternity issue. The only thing that happened, which was confraternity matter, is the black ass member that was beaten by some mafia members. That is the truth about what happened in the city of Benin between black ass and mafia. It is said that they have peace talk the entire matter and people in that area are free to be walking anyhow up and down but not now i will advise you guys to still hide your head and see if this peace is really going to take place or hold anyway you are watching nigerian view